I'm doing a story in auxiliary uh, troopers. You were patrolling I-95 and came upon some guy who decided to sleep on the side of the road. Well, I saw this silver Chevrolet broke down on the side of the road. We pulled up behind it and uh, we discovered a young man sleeping in the back seat. So he was, his shirt was torn, he was not wearing shoes, and he was sleeping on a purse as a pillow. And there was no woman around. We uh, ran the tag with it through communications and we found out that it was a wanted car for a carjacking from South Florida. His first problem was he lied to me right off the get-go. What did he tell you? Well, we asked him, uh, what's going on here? And he says, well, I ran out of gas and a trooper dropped by and said he'd go get me some gas and come back. <laughs> so right off the get-go, he, he raised my suspicion by saying that Troopers don't go get you gas and bring it back. They they try to help you get off the highway some other way. Then. Auxiliaries. I wasn't really even familiar with what that meant. Like, are are you guys you guys are like part time? Is that is that how that works? We'll let the boss explain. Could be full time. Could be part time. It's all voluntary. But what's um? Oh, it's volunteer. So you guys don't get paid. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Right. So you're like you're sworn, but you don't get paid. Yeah. Yeah, because they're saying auxiliary. I'm like. Are they armed, unarmed? Are we talking about like, do they do like a road ranger kind of thing? The auxiliary was founded in 1957. We are as a group of volunteers, uh, diverse. We have pilots, doctors, lawyers, construction professionals, insurance agents, uh, all kinds of uh, professions. Really? Uh, yes. We have volunteers that uh, donate their time for free to assist the patrol, the highway patrol, uh, in their patrol functions. Right now we're 200, about 229 strong statewide and we're always looking for more i was a uh, school teacher for 35 years up in pittsburgh and i taught auto mechanics for a living uh, auto and diesel so i kind of got with the daytona crowd you know came down every year and then i hooked up with a uh a local driver down here in nascar and i was his crew chief for a while and, and which driver uh greg Sachs. he's from um what's Port his Orange. name greg Sachs. he won daytona 400 in 1985 he won a, what used to be called the old Firecracker 400. And I also raced. I owned a racetrack up in Pennsylvania, and I raced for uh, about 10, 15 years myself. So, you know, a little, you know, I always had a side job, you know. So, <laughs> and I had a couple, couple small companies that I owned. It was, you know, it was interesting. I'm a civil engineer by education and by profession, and uh, those are very interesting careers and very rewarding. But there's still something, you know, about community. I had been uh, brutally attacked in uh, January 1988. I'd been stabbed uh, in a mugging and uh, beaten. You know, I didn't know anything about self-defense or how to handle those kind of things. And one of the things that I did was to learn uh, through my law enforcement training, because you have to use uh, skill, judgment, you have to be uh, well balanced. You have to be cool headed. Little boys always always want to be cops. Yeah, you know, so it's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, I got married at a young age and wasn't able to do that. But when I found out about this, it was it, I mean it was perfect. You know, I, I'm able to join the uh, and the FHPA, the auxiliary. I'm able to help people. I still work. I uh, I I work full time for a construction company. I uh, actually build roads. Well, I, I had been in law enforcement uh, for many years in security. Uh, I worked at uh, Walt Disney World. Uh, I did executive protection and dignitary protection for Walt Disney World. Uh, worked with many of their executives and also with the U.S. Secret Service and the uh, U.S. Marshal Service. I also was a teacher. I, I taught. Uh, I have a bachelor's and a master's degree uh, from Colorado State University. In education? In education. It's hard to recruit people that, and tell them that, yeah, you're going to go through the academy. You're going to go in there and through defensive tactics, you're going to get beat up and you're going to get uh, learn a lot of stuff. And then we're not going to pay you. I'm uh, very blessed with the uh, being 75 and still being able to uh, go through defensive tactics and uh, being, being thrown around and beat up and uh, tased and uh, all the other things that we have to do, the exciting things that we have to do. There's a difference between you and them. You get paid to do your job, they don't. What Correct. do you think of that? It is a thankless job and we're all very aware of it, um, but for them to be able to come out and volunteer their services and come out and help us without thinking about the pay, that, that speaks volumes.